Yeah, we actually uh, both threw five shots in the finals and we were tied like side by side at 648 feet. What's up everybody, Johnny Discoff here at the 2020 Las Vegas Challenge presented by Innova. And I am joined by Innova's own Mr. Thomas Gilbert. How you doing? I'm doing good, Corey. How are you? I'm hanging in there. We just got done with the first event of the year, so the season is officially underway. How does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty good to get the season started. I was just happy to get out of the cold. It's been pretty, pretty chilly up there in Canada, so this is beautiful weather. Yeah, it really has been spectacular. A little bit of rain on Saturday, um, but years past, this has been like snow one year, super winds. Um, how, how's your mindset like going into this season? Because last year you really had a lot of good finishes, but this year feels like it might be one of those breakout years. Yeah, I'm definitely hoping for a breakout year. I mean, I had, yeah, good consistent finishes on a lot of events last year. A few really big wins and also some like really close, close finishes as well. So uh, yeah, I'm hope, hopeful for some big events, maybe a Pro Tour win, maybe a National Tour win, you never know. Well, you started off the season with a win of some kind. You won the distance competition out here. Uh, how was it and how long was the winning throw? Uh, it, was, it was great. It was pretty calm conditions and the winning throw was 663 feet. That's 663 inches, of course, right? Uh, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> we, if you haven't seen the video, check out Central Coast's uh, social media. It is an absolute crush. Um, what was it like playing out here at night, though? That seemed like the vibe would have been pretty cool. Yeah, it was really cool. They got the lights out on the driving range, and everyone was out there cheering on. So it was like a really cool setting, really cool vibe. It was made it for a good, interesting distance competition. That's super cool. Uh, yeah, you were playing. You were uh, throwing against Oscotti, who is also a crusher. Yeah. Um, it actually went to sudden death, right? Uh huh. Yeah, we actually uh, both threw five shots in the finals and we were tied like side by side at 648 feet oh my God. I, it's incredible I, yeah. I couldn't believe it like the distance lines that we were throwing like completely different really? but like still just there side by side yeah wow um well you're known as one of the biggest distance guys on tour uh you travel though a good portion of the time with somebody who's known as like the safe cautious player on tour though yeah. nate sexton who just won this event. Um, what's it been like, you know, building that relationship with Nate? Uh, it's been really good. I mean, I just met Nate at a Sexton shootout and like built the relationship from there. He like, he's like, oh, I really hope this kid can do well in the future. And then I did a few good performances and he kind of recognized me and then just kind of through events, just kept getting closer and closer. And then eventually now I'm practically his touring partner. Yeah, it seems like you guys are always playing a lot of your practice rounds together. Uh, actually, during the third round, I was talking to him a little bit. He said that you were his, like, protege a little bit. He wanted to oh, teach yeah. you how to play Sexton golf at, like, 600 oh. feet. Yeah, I want to play Sexton golf. That would have <laughs> that would have got me a lot better place this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what was your finish? How, how'd it go for you? Uh, you? You played the last day, at least, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did uh, make the cut. I'm actually not entirely sure what place I came in <laughs> yeah. because I was just eager to get out there and cheer on Nate, but uh, finished six down the last round, so respectable, respectable. yeah. Yeah, um, so what's next for you? You go into Memorial, it seems like everyone here is like about to drive like now. Hey. Yeah, definitely heading out to Memorial tomorrow morning right after Nate does the commentary for Central Coast. So yeah, looking forward to another tournament. Um, that course, not quite as long as this one, right? You're, you're known as one of the longer throwers. Mm -hmm. This course, you know, a lot of airspace, a lot of room to work that distance. How yeah. are we feeling at, you know, it, it helps having distance at Memorial, but it yeah. doesn't necessarily like make, it's not a make or break. Mm -hmm. Like actually some of my, my better shots this weekend were hyzers. So that was, okay. that was encouraging. Like I can like actually swing it the, the width I wanted, like out around. Like a lot of the shots I was having trouble with is like kind of, throwing it straight or flat and then like having it fade like near pushing, the end pushing and, and fade. it's annoying because Nate's like the best of that shot on tour. Yes. <laughs> um, so you're feeling good. You're going to be chucking hyzers. What, what's the goal for you? Like, uh, it, do you have season long goals? Do you have event by event goals? Like what, what's the mindset for 2020 for you? Um, I kind of still have the same goal as last year. I want to get on as many uh, filmed cards as possible, get my name out there, start building a, an actual brand and really just be considered as one of those like elite touring players that everyone knows. Yeah. Um, is there any, uh, what, so what's, uh, Nate's on the star team, right? There's team champion. Um, is there any plans for you to be on a disc anytime soon? I hope so. I mean, as long as I get a good performance in there, I think I might be able to move up teams, get my name on maybe a signature boss Corvette. You never know. Ooh, I like it. Are you throwing bosses and Corvettes a lot? 
Um, yeah, I'm throwing bosses a lot for sidearms and corvettes for like really long sidearms and like hyzer flips through the woods. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, and a brand no shots out here, hyzer flip through the woods. Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't using them as much this weekend, just a lot of like domey destroyers and, and stuff, but yeah, I, I love it for most of the courses that we have on tour. Um, so you are, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you're like, you're 19 years old. 20, 20 years old, you were 19 last year. Um, you're foregoing college to tour disc golf full time. Mm -hmm. um, where like, how, not to say how committed are you, right? But yeah. is this what is this the play for the next few years? Like, are you just gonna go all in and try and do this? I hope so. I mean, right now I'm actually still in uh, university. I'm, I'm taking a semester right now, and uh, I'm really hoping like to get the kind of similar plan that uh, Simon was able to make with this mania, because there's like a six month, like I'm only allowed in the state six months of the year, so. Yeah, I, I'm really hoping to maybe get a five-year work visa with okay. Innova if I play well enough. Yeah. So that's the goal for uh, 2021. Cool, cool. I love it. Um, Thomas, we've got awards coming up. Uh, Nate's about to accept his. I know yeah. you want to give him some love. So I want to give you a chance, though. Uh, anything you'd like to say for your fans, any prospective fans, people out there rooting for Thomas Gilbert? I just want to say thank you to everyone who's uh, watching and cheering me on. It means a lot, and I, I love the support. And I just want to also thank my sponsors, Innova Champion Discs, Pound Bags, and Go Tiles. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much for your time, Thomas. Really appreciate it. Always a blast hanging and chatting yeah. with you. Um, that's all I got for this interview, though, folks. If you'd like coverage of all things disc golf, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking out that interview. I am having a blast out here in Vegas getting the season started, getting my foot on the ground and the wheels on the road. Thank you so much to all of you that have followed along all of last year and continue to watch this year. Can't wait for this season to produce so much content and a lot of new stuff that you guys, I think, are going to enjoy.